It's a shame, but living in the city, very rarely do you get to see stars. I feel like I have a, a new connection to them in a way that I haven't before. If I'm out in the desert and I look up at the sky, you just see millions and millions of places that we should be going. It's almost baked into our DNA, the desire to go and explore, right? That's the whole reason why we left the forest and then traveled across oceans, just to see what's out there. I was born in 1969, which is the year we landed on the moon. So I am a space baby. When I was a kid, there were guys driving cars on the moon. They're driving cars on the moon. I, that's so cool, right? I want to do that. All the rocky planets that we know of all have got a metal core in their center. And especially for the Earth, it's the source of our magnetic field. But we don't know a lot about our core. What we've learned about it, we learn indirectly because we can't go there. It's too hot, the pressure's too high, our instruments would melt. Can't drill a hole that deep in the Earth or other planets. It turns out we can study a planetary core out in space because there's this one object, this one object called Psyche. 16 Psyche is an asteroid that orbits the sun out between Mars and Jupiter. It is the only asteroid that we're aware of that is 95% metal or more and is really huge. It's about 200 kilometers across in one axis. So it's about the size of Massachusetts. It's believed that it may be a remnant core of an early planetesimal that was formed in the very, very earliest parts of the formation of the solar system. And after this planet started forming and this metal core formed inside of that, it collided with other bodies that then stripped off the rocky mantle, leaving this core in place. The first thing that came actually was the theory. Some people from Jet Propulsion Laboratory contacted me and said, we would like to plan a mission that would test your hypotheses. And that starts you down a road that takes years. So we wrote a proposal to send a, a NASA spacecraft to visit this, this big ball of metal. And then uh, about a year ago, Lindy gets a phone call. You win. <laughs> and then we're all like, oh my god, now we have to do it. Psyche gives us the opportunity to visit a core, the only way that humankind can ever do. And it would be the first metal object that humankind has ever visited. We've been approved to go in August of 2022. So we talked with our mission design and navigation team, and in fact, they were able to come up with what is probably the most optimal trajectory, doing a Mars flyby. Flies past Mars, gives us a gravity assist, uses that propulsion system to then slowly creep up toward the end of 2025, getting there in, uh, in early 2026. SSL is building the solar electric propulsion chassis. When we do the mechanical, physical integration of each instrument on the spacecraft, we'll work hand in hand with each of the providers to get out to Psyche and do a full discovery mission. We've figured out a way for many, many people to build something together so complicated, no one person can understand it, but it all has to work together perfectly for decades without fail. Just the fact that these things work at all is a thrill. It's just a testament to a lot of the engineers at JPL and the companies that we collaborate with uh, that they can build these things. It's exciting for me to be able to be a woman winning and leading a deep space mission. The only previous woman who competed, won, and led a deep space mission was um, Maria Zuber, who was my friend and mentor at MIT. And so my drive is to make everyone feel welcome and to have every voice heard. We want as many undergraduates as we can. We want to involve as much of the public as we can. We want people to feel like this is their mission. You get that first picture back, and you know, one of the first things that goes through your mind is, oh, thank God I didn't leave the lens cap on. We will put our pictures out there as soon as they come down. So we'll discover at the same time that the public discovers. We'll be scratching our heads and saying, I, I don't know what's going on. Same time everybody else is like, wow, that, what is that? I don't know, let's figure it out. I did get to look at Psyche through an optical telescope in my backyard. Some wonderful colleagues brought over their telescope on a fortuitous night. It's a very, very tiny faint dot and that made a bunch of us cry to think that we could send something to investigate that speck of light. We can understand this universe that we live in. We can explore it, we can learn about it, and we can be a part of something which is much bigger than just us or just this planet. We will see new things when we visit a world made of metal.